The Australasian bittern is one of the world's most threatened water birds and here they are breeding in huge numbers in these agricultural wetlands that rice farming creates. So it's a really great example of how farming and wildlife conservation can work together. These, these crops are producing you know, 10 or 11 tonnes of rice per hectare feeding Australia and the world and also producing um, baby bitterns for wetlands across the landscape. G'day, I'm Matt Herring, a wildlife ecologist studying the wonderful bitterns in rice. So this recent project that I've been involved with in the bitterns in rice confirms to me that, that I am doing the right thing environmentally because we have an endangered bird that is actually breeding and succeeding in our rice crops. The last eight years I've been uh, looking at these strange birds in detail, living out here in the rice crops. And in Australia there's growing recognition that, uh, that rice crops are really important habitats for water birds and there's no better example of that than the Australasian bittern. Here in the Riverina, we've got about 40% of the world's population of this globally endangered species. Which is why it's so important that this work that we're doing in Bittens in Rice continues. So what the project does is provide additional habitat or better habitat and better breeding opportunities for the bird. How that's done is in the rice environment, we look at incentives for rice farmers, with the key thing being length of inundation of rice paddy. What we've been trying to do is encourage growers to maximise the benefit of their rice crops for bitterns. So one of those things is getting the water on earlier in the season, having grassy banks, uh, controlling the foxes, and doing a bunch of other things that better accommodate the birds and basically maximise the bittern yield. And one of the ways that we're doing that is by using a thermal drone to monitor the chicks as they grow. The bitterns tend to stay more in the, in the leafy areas where they're more protected, but there's heaps of other species of birds that will be in the low-lying water areas that haven't got rice growing in them or anything like that. The amount of frogs and fish and stuff that you have living in there, yeah, they they all coexist quite happily. Too often farming and wildlife conservation are seen at odds, you know, as enemies. And this is a really good example of how the two can work together. We think that this bitten friendly rice is a really good model for other um, agricultural industries to follow. We, we provide a habitat for not just the endangered bitten, but for many other bird species. I love going out and seeing them. They're so hard to find and it's absolutely awesome when you, you actually do see one. And listening to them boom is, is again, a very eerie noise that uh, I think stays with you for life. A whole bunch of organisations have come together to make this Bittens in Rice um, project happen. And some of the key players are the Rice Growers Association of Australia, uh, BirdLife Australia, and the Riverina Local Land Services. And we're really grateful for funding from the Australian Government's National Land Care Program. And not to mention the rice growers themselves. Without them, none of this is possible.